Hello, I'm Zen from thisismeinvr.com and I'm doing some gameplay slash review for Fruit Ninja. They give you two swords using the move controllers. Wow, these are really cool. So let's try this out. I tried to recalibrate the floor. Oh! <laughs> that worked better than I thought. Oh! You can... Oh, you have to have speed to cut. Otherwise you just knock it. Wow, the ability of these is impressive. <laughs> I'm already having fun with this. So you definitely want to make sure you're set up good with the camera. You have lots of room overhead. This is fun. I'm attached to the ceiling. Definitely glad I did that. So that's classic mode. Okay, what is our key? Is there a left and a right for these controllers? It'd be nice if there was some R, L, oh, I didn't mean to do that. One more round. I love the fruit ninja, but they should throw the occasional bad guy at you too. Comes running out of the field. Oh, I dropped one. <laughs> Arcade. 60 seconds. Oh, now we're throwing stuff from over here. Oh. <laughs> if you like Fruit Ninja or having virtual swords, this game is for you. Ah, oh, bomb. I wanna stop. Yeah. Oh, this will give you a workout. Oh, I hit the bomb. Wow, impressive. Be nice if they made a sound when they tapped. So that was arcade. That's a lot of fun. That's a workout. A small one, but a good one. Classic again. Let's see how many times you can cut something and yeah. Ooh, too hard. Let's try Zen. Appropriately named. Orange slice.
waste of fruit. Like to see around where they tell you which fruit to get, which ones not to get. the wire from the ceiling so I'm gonna snag it every once in a while wow some people are gonna get so good at this Definitely make sure your headset and your wires are very snug. If you're gonna attach it to a ceiling, use maybe a rubber band. Give it a little bit of flexibility. Oh my God, that's so much fun. Okay. One more area. So this will be a short walkthrough because there's only so much you can do. Like four, four rounds. It's not. Uh, it's not a very long-term gameplay, with the exception of just going for high scores and and trying to get on leaderboards or just some uh, very peaceful stress relaxation kind of stuff. I'm currently just reattaching my headset to the ceiling because I pulled it out. Let's take a look around this world. It's a very simple game. I'm kind of surprised it took them this long to create it. Okay, what, what do these buttons do? Oh, okay. That's how one navigates through their menu. Let's do that again. That doesn't work. The menu is confusing for me for some reason. Now my controller is vibrating for no reason. Whatever, I'll just finish this level. Cool. <laughs> I don't know why I make that noise. I think it's just the belief that when you're holding samurai swords, that's the sound you would hear in the background. They don't make very many of those in this game. I think music, a lack of music, is one of the few things missing. And at least one round that's a little bit slower. And uh, give me some little enemies. I don't know. Some little fruit robots or something. I'd like to fight off what? I'd like to fight off an invasion of fruit robots. I see. This should have been the first round. A way to practice. Oops. Way too quick. Let's do that again.
Oh, I can't miss any fruit. That's how this works. Did I miss one there? Yes, I did. So that's Fruit Ninja VR. You've got four simple little worlds or op game choice options. It's very childlike, which is surprising because VR is not for kids. I still love it. That's pretty good. Zen from thisismeinvera.com.